In 2019, the NHS, as the National Health Service in England, they started piloting this AI boosted system that essentially takes all of the CT scans once they come out of the machine and produces what's called a perfusion map. It's essentially a map that is showing the clinicians what areas of the brain are receiving little to no blood. They assist in diagnosis of what kind of stroke it is and what they need to do. The AI produces these reports in under a minute which is crazy. And then that report goes immediately to all of the members of the care team simultaneously. So instead of doing this, you know, in stage progression, all of the members of the care team have all this information at the same time. They can communicate with one another and make a decision about what to do. So in England, anyway, the addition of this AI system when they did the pilots back in 2019 cut down the time between when a stroke patient arrives at the hospital and when they get, you know, sent in for surgery or, you know, onward towards treatment, whatever that treatment may be, by a full hour. And again, I'm just re repeating that staff from before, you're losing 2 million neurons for every minute a stroke is left untreated. So an hour is a huge deal. And they found again, through their analysis of the pilots that they did, that this actually tripled the proportion of stroke patients in England that reached full recovery, which they define as functional independence. It's essentially no disability or very slight disability after the stroke. It used to be 16% of stroke patients recovered to that benchmark. Now it's nearly 50%. Like these are wild numbers.